Bill Weaver survived a bailout at Mach 3, 2, and 78, Zalzan feet, speeds where the human body should have been instantly liquefied by forces exceeding 40 Gs. On January 25, 1966, his SR-71 Blackbird suffered catastrophic engine failure during a test flight. At triple the speed of sound, conventional wisdom says ejection equals death. The aircraft was disintegrating around him in milliseconds. Here's the impossible part. Weaver never pulled his ejection handle. The aircraft literally broke apart so violently that his ejection seat was ripped free and automatically fired, while he was unconscious from the initial breakup forces. He was ejected by accident at speeds that should have killed him instantly. The mechanism that saved him defies physics textbooks. The SR-71's breakup created a unique aerodynamic cocoon that momentarily shielded him from the full force of the Mach 3 Plus airstream. His unconscious body went limp, actually helping him survive forces that would have shredded a tensed pilot. He woke up falling through 15, zero zone feet in his ejection seat, parachute already deployed, with no memory of the ejection sequence. His radar operator Jim's wire died in the breakup, making Weaver's survival even more statistically impossible. This wasn't just luck, it rewrote every assumption about high-speed ejection survival limits and revolutionized seat design forever. 